Hey, this is Vicki coming to you from Upper Room Ministries, giving you a daily dose of spiritual oxygen. We're all doing this together today. It's a Wednesday. It's a fast day. And um, the Lord was just giving me a vision when I was in Holy Mass today about the as the time ticks by during our fast on bread and water, that each second is like opening the door a little wider, a little wider, a little wider, a little wider, as we go through the hours of our bread and water fast. Uh, you can hear the dryness in my voice um, from today's fast uh, on bread and water uh, this morning. I did allow myself to have a cup of joe, <laughs> um, and um, th but then I've been having bread and water ever since. My uh, energy is getting just a bit um, low and I have a whole lot more to do. So I just remember one of the messages that the Blessed Mother gave me where she said, restrict where you can, eat what you must. So in this moment, I've decided to go ahead and allow myself, um, let's see, there you go, a piece of peanut butter. <laughs> A uh, piece. See, I can't even think. Bread and peanut butter with a large thing of water. And in the water I have, um, oh, it's uh, one of those electrolyte things. Keep my electrolytes up because I probably have about six more hours of work. And I've been talking uh, quite a bit. So I'm allowing myself. I'd like you to know just a couple of things in that fast. Again, no, three things. He was showing me, like I said, each second that goes by where you are committed to the next moment, the next moment, the next moment. It's opening the door wider and wider for the graces, for the miracles, for the breakthrough, for the healing. All these things to come through supernaturally, not naturally. So that's one thing about how the door opens wider and wider through your commitment to the bread and water fast. The next thing is, that I wanted to share with you is that... Um, when I do the bread and water fast, I was speaking with a priest, a very holy priest, and uh, he was talking about in the bread and water fast when I talked to him saying, you know, it's really hard. I don't always get through because I'm thinking of it as breakfast, lunch, dinner. He says, oh, no, no. He says the way they do it in Medjugorje is every two hours they're having some bread. Um, half a piece of bread, a whole piece of bread couple pieces of bread, whatever is needed in that moment. So I'd like you to be gentle with yourself because the whole intent is, yes, you decrease with your own passions and wants so that he can increase in you. As he increases in you, the presence is amplified. And when his presence is amplified, so is that opportunity to receive graces, healing, and breakthrough. I've seen it with my own eyes just way too many times. So, uh, and you are too. And many of you are writing that since you started hearing about the bread and water fast, that you've committed to the fast and you've actually seen the breakthrough. Isn't that a great testimony to the fruits of fasting? Okay. The other thing, so think about the two hours, think about the grace doors opening up for healing and breakthrough. And the other thing is, is this. Um, I've read a lot of books. I was reading about the seers from Fatima and the little children would fast and fast and uh, it really encouraged me. So I hope this video encourages you. So the encouragement is important. The eyes set on the grace is important. So your gaze is important is what I'm saying and your language. So this is a day of great joy and great victory. Now one of the messages the Lord has given me um, was he said you cannot fight a supernatural war with natural weapons you must fight a supernatural war with supernatural weapons so interesting that in one of the ways that we claim victory is through the fast we are really having breakthrough in the fast so gentle with yourself your gaze, your language of joy, your language of victory is very, very important. Important, And also that uh, mindset that if there is a moment where you need to consume a little bit more nutrition to get through your day, so you could be a mommy or you could be a daddy or you could continue to work, be gentle 
the language is be gentle with yourself because the Lord sees your intention. Be gentle with yourself. It's not a fail. It is about unity, about be more and more unified. And you may have um, needed to, excuse me, you may have needed to um, consume something and you're like, oh, rats. Excuse me, I think I'm getting confirmations. Um, you may have needed to take a break for a moment and consume some nutrition to move on. Um, please look at that as I needed that then and this I'm continuing now on the fast, bread and water fast. Some have also asked, how long is the fast? Well, it's supposed to be midnight to midnight. Last night, midnight, midnight to tonight's midnight. I pray that's a, a lot of information on fasting. These mortifications are great for the spirit supernaturally. Physically, you can feel the impact, right? But you're raising a supernatural sword to claim that supernatural victory of following the way, the truth, and the life. <sighs> there it is. All right. God bless you. I hope this is helpful. A lot of juicy tidbits of spiritual nutrition to chew on here during your bread and water fast. God bless you. We're claiming victory in this supernatural war in Ephesians 6. Go and look at it. All right. Take care. God bless.